There is a lurk in the form of Kenzie. Timing is big, and Kenzie is going to find Stenix. Yeah, it's going to be Kenzie. Easy first headshot on that P250. Stenix had no chance and in the pistol of Mirage, but this retake is taking its first steps, and I think its first steps might be its last because another kill from Lackey comes in for Aurora oh. in the post blind, but a couple of headshots suddenly arrive for fours, and we're right back to an equilibrium. We're right back to 2v2, and Seltzer's got another headshot. Resol making no secret about his steps coming forward, but Seltzer turns around and eradicates him. That is incredible. Two MP9s, which can be obviously very potent in close quarters combat towards it the underpass, but eventually if he keeps his journey going, oh my god, look at this, <laughs> ships in the night inside of the smoke. In the butthole. Yep, right in the butthole. Not, not an enjoyable experience, I'm sure that wasn't ready for it. Bit of shock to the system, Aurora bouncing back, looking good. Now just Kelly left alone in what is not going to be a round that he can win. Maybe he can do some damage, maybe he can pick something up here, but at the moment it's uh, not looking like this round is doable. Yeah, uh, and, and just well constructed from the side of Aurora. And they're so good at just being super quiet. Yeah, he, he should have found just the one, but good job getting to Kenzie with the AWP, having to spawn. Empty bomb site. Tenir is the only one, but he has been a rock. I say it, he gets swept aside. Kellyan does reply back with not a frag. Yeah, it's not the greatest, not the most effective, and that shot. Make sure that they get the bomb planted, and they know that will take one player out of commission, and Kellyan nearly, oh, right through the smoke, denies the bomb plant, and draws this into a 1v2, and it's Deco that has to do it. The 1v2 clutch, he'll bound his way in towards the triple boxes, but then just exposes himself to at all, but uh, we'll see if that comes back to bite them. It's going to be a fight for Lackey at top middle. Molotov to clear out those top boxes. Oh, good reaction to get his gun out in time too, and he's got Deco with him. So the fours see the aggression, around, but uh, I think he's going to need a stim real soon. But to have at least to prevent the bleeding now. Stop the bleeding, looks like. It's going to be a quick A play. Kelly in close at ramp. It's Lackey to Jewel first, but three players around that corner when he took a little peek, and he ends up getting glocked to the head. Oh. The response of Deco couldn't quite get the second, overwhelmed by too many angles, exposed himself just a little bit too much. And that would have been at 30. It's still four is trying to get the space to put the bomb down. They haven't quite found themselves that opportunity just yet. Kenzie and Norby stand in a 2v4, a big swing into Kenzie. Sentex able to remove him. And it's all down Norby. to Norby in a one. We'll have to bite his. And it is now 7 to 6. Four is head back <laughs> into the lead. Put an end to the round streak. Uh, fun, funny Opening casualty. Fun. Result. Mm. Yeah, he hasn't had to show himself yet. That's good. Eight Almost minutes. surprises. Bit of a ruse, Dinko. They're trying to sell the fake that is going to be a beat short play as they walk in through the smoke. And Kenzie's having none of it. Gets the first kill. And Shelfie and Seltzer are so far from each other. Yes. Shelfie, one onto Stairway. It may be done until Shelfie arrives to the round. The second. And already Norby's made the reposition out towards ramp, but Shelfie's collected that bomb, but shot from Deco denies. And this is looking almost guaranteed to be 12 rounds for fours on Mirage. There's the fight out middle. Resalt looking to try and jewel it. Is Resalt to go down first shot from Deco? Will connect out towards the ramp and. It's something to play with here for Deco, and he's considering this play through Connector, and it's for good reason, because Shalfi was walking his way down towards Connector, and just dry peeks into the sniper, perhaps anticipating it being distracted towards Ramp and Palace. And in fact, Deco now can focus on Ramp and Palace because he has dealt with that Connector threat, and Deco's AWP might be enough to win this round. Oh, the back of just him! Shots ring out, that one's a leg shot, but it's still damage done, and he's still fighting. He goes for more until the USP of Norby's about to detect him, and it can be effective if Phoenix is looking the wrong way. That dink into the kill, well, and now it's just 4 HP. Oh, it's really got to require a miracle here for Seltzer. First kill's good, though. Perhaps the first step of the miracle being taken. Time will start to tick. Lack of kit here for Aurora is certainly a worrying factor, but Kenzie Time from fours. No one just crazily running in on all sides of the map, but the fights do begin. Once again, it's an Aurora opening, but that didn't really matter in the previous round. Fours were able to convert on the back of a 4v5, but this walk past Sandwich, it has to be a bit clear from Kellyan. It certainly is. In a way to a victory on Mirage. Shalfi tries to jump on by the murder hall, but he cannot dodge the murderer. 
Oh, Deco, big shot. Norvi will take his kill to close. Deco is right close kill. by as Tanir will final resolve. Is a bomb side. It's getting sprung apart. Yeah, it is. Tanir coming in. That's a big opening fight. Window fight going down. It's Kenzie ripping the head of Shalfi off of his shoulders. Seltzer and Kelly, though, stepping up once again. It's a bloodbath inside of the A bomb site. But now we focus at B. Jesus. There's fights all over the show. I feel real bad for Lokso, the observer, having to catch the action everywhere. But it's uh, eventually the fight for Norby. Now we go back to the A bomb site. No, they all picked oh. up the headshot. This one off. I don't think so. He's not going to check jungle. So to be ex executed from behind. And this Kelly's is uh, all about timing now at this top mid fight, isn't it? Looking through that smoke. He comes around the back and does spot out Cynic, so that's going to be the kill. It gives Boris. Give to Nier, jump spotting from Ticket. It's about to be an eight split for Aurora to try and draw us into another overtime, and that's exactly yeah, rounds, round two. That was so clean from them. Seltzer doing his best to pad the stats, but eventually. Rounds. Yeah, it's been really impressive so far, hasn't it? And Lackey up towards top boxes. This is where he got his kill in the previous round, but the revenge is there from Kelly. And Lackey will fall this time at top mid. Aurora trying to get in towards that B bomb site. Deco's done well. A nice kill with that AWP. It's certainly going to help matters as they charge into the bomb site. Celtics is just getting back inside of the market. Solto fragging out, making Aurora look very comfortable indeed until Kelly in lines up a double kill. And once again, they're in with a fighting chance for us thanks so to that chaotic. play from Sean. He's still alive, and Kellyan doesn't stop. He still frags out, and Deco now the last remaining player with a 1v2 ahead of him. What can he really pull off with the AWP? He decides to go to the AK perhaps and catch for more than perhaps we expected. But that is how it has gone, and now the fight is coming down through middle. Lackey, result. Couple of kills. Seen. And the first steps will be taken to make that a reality. Oh, Kenzie. And Kelly coming through underneath the window. Resalt is starting to just have, to have enough of Mirage, I think. He's taking matters into his own hands over the last few rounds here. Maybe a little bit quiet by his own. We'll finally break through this war of attrition and come out on top. 19 16 victory over fours. <laughs>but this should be a pretty comfortable round here for Aurora. Yeah, Norvi is making oh. sure that it is very comfortable indeed. And the double push through Dark, the Tech Nines. Okay, now it's slightly uncomfortable. And this could actually go in favor of Fours in that 4-0 dream to kick off the CT side. This could become just a fantasy. Deco with one. Lackey entering. Good shot, it's Syntex goes down, and now, well, a Seltzer left alone with a Deagle inside of Dark, and that time is ticking. Oh, the kill needs to come in He's instantly, got it. and Lackey. We've seen Absolutely. it before. He's very capable of stepping up to another level when it comes to these kind of scenarios. And they're coming towards him with oh. multiple plays, and that Deagle, it does damage onto the first. Missed shot from Deco. Now he really needs to connect, and he does exactly that on Tanir. Oh, here's the A play. 5-7 at the ready. Close quarter combat. First kill's good. A lot of damage to blood on that second player as well, and that AK-47 rips them apart. It was weaker weapons. Kids say nowadays. They do say that. Salt up. One can see a bit of a brazen P coming in from him, and will be punished. There's the B play off the back of that too. They're not stopping. They're going in with this attack. Norby with one. Kelly and out of there. Drop down. Brazen P from Deco. Okay. It's only one, and he's traded eventually. It's oh, what a shot! <laughs> I it thought seems that to was be so their the go-to strategy many of the their times. Oh. oh, messed up. Yeah, not happening for Resalt there. Second second around here on Anubis. Oh, the stack. To try and get into the B-bomb site, but Force have plenty of players here ready to go, and Deco doesn't care. He'll start dismantling them one by one, and they're now going into the A-play instead. Aurora charging in on multiple fours, needing this pistol. Well, they have to recover this. A retake versus an advantageous position for Aurora, and they're going to dive down into the bomb site. Oh. One kill from Kelly and doubled up, and suddenly a clutch is looking doable. Kenzie just jiggling, realizes he's not sticking it realizes there's no kit and this is going to be the round surely now for the side of Aurora but He's got the it. shot from Kellyan he actually <laughs> managed to get it back. might work out this is the best chance in fact for Forrest to win this round 
This is why Aurora are hitting. This is why the CTs make their stand. And stand they will for just a moment. But their legs now swept from underneath them as the numbers evened out at three. And there's a player at the back of the platform inside of Glizzy, and that could be a strong position here for the 5 7, especially with the smokes who now fade away. And now Selter. Oh, oh. it's sent Texas Wall. What a shot. Selter stepping up. But the they cleared everything out. But now they've got to realize okay, that was a tap, not a stick. Selter's waiting. Decker will die instantly to one oh, shot. Well, but you can see 4s are feeling super uncomfortable. They want to find something. They're going to try and to try get and it in towards the A bomb site. But. The rest of the squad now approaching in for Aurora. Nice shot from Kenzie out towards Bricks. Throws a brick right through the skull of Seltzer. Tanir has to step up and kill Madness moment flank. right now, isn't he? And this flank, oh, it could be the unraveling factor here for Aurora. Kelly and diving out of heaven. Norvi in middle. Apart from that, it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty... Up outside of the B-bomb site for Aurora. This looks quick, but this looks like it's about to be a quick pop into this defense to try and break apart their initial players. Resold on the first two. Seltzer towards the back of the platform is the last remaining defensive effort here for forwards. And he needs to stay alive as long as he possibly can to allow that rotation. And he is dead. It yeah, they did a great job here, Aurora, dodging that AWP, making quick work of forwards. A 2-0 day.